Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to talk about programming concept on top of multiple inheritance. Programming on top of multiple inheritance by using interface. So, already we know about uh, multiple inheritance, nothing but a class which is having relation with the multiple classes, a class which have multiple super class that class we can call as that inheritance we can call as multiple inheritance, but uh, Java does not support a multiple inheritance due to the problem like ambiguity. But the type of problem we are not facing through interface, really are you facing any problem with this multiple inheritance by using interfaces or not? If we have, how to avoid that? Very interesting video. Please observe carefully. Now, I am taking notepad, yes, here I am taking one interface like i. In the interface i, here I have one variable. By default, every variable is public static final, no need to write also. If you are not writing, that duty is going to do by the compiler. Public static final int a equal to triple one, nice and interface j one more interface now here i am taking like a public static final int b equal to triple two i do not require more than one variable let me copy and paste here here the value is triple two but variable name is same variable interesting example now we have one method public abstract void m1 method all the methods are abstract so control c and here control v nice so both the interfaces having same uh, variable and uh, same method now let me take one class like a test in the test class i am taking one method like a public static void main nice and here i am taking one string array variable string array s yes. and here I am writing like I am taking one more class like a how to communicating with the class to interface make a communication class to interface by using what here implements. Now, after extends keyword we can able to write only one class, but after implements keyword we can write multiple interfaces one or two or three. Now, what happened here let me say with the test dot java good. Now, here whatever the data which we have in the interface i those data will coming to a, whatever the data which we have in the j those data will coming to where here a itself. Nothing but first let me speak about m1 method, m1 method i interface m1 method and j interface m1 method both are coming to where here a only. Now, here I need to provide the body for m1, how many m1 methods, so interface i m1 method is coming interface j m1 method is coming. So, I need to provide the body for m1 methods, do not be think two methods are coming, we are providing the body for two methods. No, providing the body for one method is enough, public void m1. Now, here system dot out dot println, this is a class m1 method, this is a class m1 method. Now, here very simple the same m1 method whatever the method i am taking here the same m1 method is providing the certification for m1 method of i as well as providing the satisfaction for what here m1 method for j nothing but fully technically this m1 method is the implementation method for interface rule like uh, this m1 method and this concrete m1 method is same the same concrete m1 method is the implementation for j interface m1 method so, here one rule is coming from i and one more rule is coming from j, but both the rules uh, we are implemented by using only one m1 method. So, in the a we do not have two m1 methods, if you have a two m1 methods there is a ambiguity that we will face by the classes, but uh, this here we do not have any ambiguity, here we have only one method, one method is satisfied to both interface i and j. So, let me speak here what happened? Uh, here I am creating an object for a obj equal to new a 
yes no here i'm writing like obj.m1 method then let me compile and execute the program again java c test.java and java test so executing from where here am1 method so in this particular time compiler not facing any ambiguity and now observe guys here i'm calling one variable that variable name is what here a that variable name is a how can i call it's a static if the data is static if the data is what here static better to go with interface name i dot a let's see whether they executed or not whether the statement is correct or not let's check interface i comma j interface i comma system dot out dot print ln obj dot a now in this particular time compiler are going to ambiguity mode ambiguous reference to a is ambiguous the reason is interface i a variable coming to where here a interface j a variable is also coming to where here a class then in the a class how many variables are ready two variables one is a value triple one another one is what here a, a value triple two so if you are calling that variable with the obj compiler will check that a triple one and a triple two in the a class so both a triple one value one more variable like a triple two both are available then how compiler recognize programmer mind whether the programmer is calling for triple one or triple two in that particular time we are facing what here ambiguous to avoid that problem we should go for what here by using interface names there is an alternative also without using interface name also we can call it observe here i am using loosely coupling mechanism that we will see in coming classes so here nothing but coming videos i obj1 equal to new a now observe here control v now here i am writing like obj1 dot a so let me comment this one this is ambiguous and one more thing is j obj2 equal to new a now here i am writing like here i am writing like system dot out dot print ln here i am writing like obj2 dot obj2 dot a and here i am writing like obj1 dot a now in this particular time compiler not facing any problem observe java c test dot java java test so variables triple one and triple two printed now even though if you are calling those variables by using reference variable we are not facing any problem there is one small concept here whether we are working with the upcasting or whether we are working with the, uh, what we can call as loosely coupling mechanism nothing but runtime polymorphism whatever it may be if you working with the upcasting mode of object static variables non static variables static methods are always executing from reference type now here a variable executing from i and a variable triple to executing from j only non static methods are executing from sub classes nothing but here implementation classes if you are writing like obj1 dot m1 obj1 dot m1 or one more thing obj2 dot obj2 dot m1 method both the methods are executing from sub class nothing but a implementation class here a so we'll see why i i told you like one concept before 5 minutes whenever we using upcasting mode object or loosely coupling object data is always coming from data means what your non static variable static uh, variable and uh, static methods are executing from super class only non static methods are executing from sub classes why it will happen to understand this concept we require a huge knowledge on method overriding once we coming that concept again i'm highlighting this type of example i mean give you i'm going to give you a clear knowledge about that uh, point so i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you